Hi, today I have two easy questions for you and I recommend you to stop video here, read the questions and try to choose the correct answer and then you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is the first question. Some people have AB blood types for the ABO blood system. They have all the characteristics of both uh, type A and type B blood. The inheritance pattern responsible for this is referred to as, and here is the three answers that you may choose from. And let me start uh, uh, with answer C, blending. And I want to use uh, as example uh, flowers because it's very easy um, to understand and it's uh, very uh, easy visually to represent for you. So uh, imagine that we have red flowered plant and we have to cross it with a white flowered plant so this is going to be parent 1 and this is parent 2 and what uh, outcome we may get if we uh, have blending of this uh, characteristic so outcome would be a pink flower so this is going to be intermediate between these two Parent. So this is going to be F1 generation and this is going to be blending. So uh, imagine that we have uh, as answer, uh, answer B, dominance. So in this case, uh, usually uh, red color is dominant over the white color. So we would have a red flowered plant if it's going to be dominance and if we have uh, codominance uh, in this case we would have a flower that is going to be uh, red and white simultaneously so this is going to be patches of uh, red color pure red color and patches of pure uh, white color so this is going to be codominance when Two characteristics are expressed simultaneously. So uh, this is uh, exactly what we have with our uh, blood uh, types group ABO system. Imagine that we have uh, red blood cells and on the surface uh, there are two types, uh, sorry, three types of antigen that can be present. This is can be A B and O and our question about AB blood type so that means that uh, on the surface here would be present antigens A for example and antigens B and both of them would be expressed simultaneously so this is exactly this example so this is AB blood group. So uh, here correct answer would be um, A, that blood group, uh, ABO blood group system is uh, uh, codominance of the two alleles A and B. So these two alleles are codominant. And if uh, the question would be about blood group A, for example, and it can be uh, AO and uh, AA. So, uh, for example, here we would have a simple dominance. A would be dominant over the O, so blood group would be A. And, uh, of course, when we have two alleles A, the blood group would be also A. So these two uh, alleles is codominant A and B and A is dominant to O and B also would be dominant to O. So the question about blood uh, group AB, so our answer would be codominance. But if uh, the question would be about genotypes uh, AO or BO, we would uh, say that this is going to be answer B, dominance. So let me now move to the second question. Angelman syndrome is a rare form of mental retardation 
that can be more or less severe depending on the gender of the parent from whom it is inherited. This unusual kind of inheritance pattern is known as, and once again here we have three answers that you may choose from, and uh, let me start for example from uh, with answer C, uh, incomplete uh, penetrance, and the recent vivid uh, example would be Angelina Jolie that uh, decided to uh, made a double master party because she had uh, two recessive genes. I don't know exactly is it uh, BRCA1 or BRCA2 and this uh, two recessive genes means 85% of the uh, probability to have a breast cancer and uh, as you see this is not 100% guarantee that you would have a breast cancer but uh, you also should understand that 85% uh, is also a huge chance and 15% uh, probably uh, when someone have even two uh, this uh, recessive alleles is due to some environmental factors or maybe there is another gene that also uh, have influences on these uh, characteristics and for example uh, men may have these two uh, genes, recessive genes and they have very uh, small chance of developing the breast cancer and uh, this is example of the incomplete penetrance and uh, maybe there are uh, some uh, environmental uh, factors also uh, influence this so um, in our example, Angel Mellon syndrome is uh, not incomplete penetrance, so we have to cross out this answer. And answer A and B left. So modifying gene is when we have two uh, uh, genes, for example, and one would modify how uh, the second would be expressed. So it can influence its expression or it can suppress its uh, expression or can promote its expression. And uh, this is a not correct answer. With Angelman syndrome, uh, we have uh, genome imprinting when, uh, for example, um, there can be modification of the uh, proteins such as Methylation of the histones, and there also can be a methylation of the DNA, and uh, this would uh, influence if a certain gene would be expressed or not. And about one percent of the human genes are dependent on the inheritance, whether from mother side or father side, and uh, it means that this gene. Uh, depending on the uh, from whom you inherited this gene, whether it can be silenced or not. So this is good example of the epigenetics when, uh, without uh, modifying the uh, DNA sequence, uh, gene uh, expression can be modified. So the correct answer would be genome imprinting, and this is. All for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Goodbye.